right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the benefits of having uh, snap caps in your firearm when you're firearm training. Now, a lot of guys out there are going to go, well, you don't need them. It's not going to hurt the firing pin, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's, that's true in a lot of cases. Some cases, the gun may not handle it dry firing so well, and it does damage the damn firing pin. Your gun, whatever cranks your tractor, but there are more benefits than that. You can safely exercise and run through your exercises and your uh, your drills to and be safe if you use snap caps. Okay, I use the A Zoom brand. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. It's pretty beat up. I've got ten of these for my 45. I've got I think I got a total of six for my 12 gauge shotgun. And I've got right now only a total of four for my M1A. What is some of the benefits? All right. Uh, number one, working the slide on your handgun. It ensures if you're using snap caps that you get it all the way to the rear. And when you let go, the gun feeds it into, you know, like it should. If you, if you practice a lot with your handgun and you don't pull it all the way back to where it stops, when you release it or you ride the slide forward with your hand trying to trying to shove it forward you may have problems with it if you have snap caps you can you can catch all these damn problems pretty quick and stop doing that crap another thing is is when you one hand manipulate the handgun all right i cheat and i don't practice like i should because i mainly use my strong hand on the gun okay and i do everything with it but occasionally like yesterday and today I use my weak hand also. Everything from drawing the handgun out of my holster, taking the damn safety off, and then pressing that trigger. And you can see it shaking like hell. I don't care how much it shakes. If I can still hit the damn target and not lose the gun in the process. Now, what happens if you run out? All right. Your, your, uh, your gun is empty. Slides locked back, you're one-handed, this hand's wounded. You cannot use this hand. What can you do to reload your gun? First damn thing you do is get down on your on your damn knees. Put the gun right there without the barrel touching the ground. Grab your next one. Index it properly. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even check that one. Alright, we already screwed up, so let's start it all over again. That's the damn thing. You get to talking. You, you're trying to concentrate on two different things at one time. And it screws your head up. Alright, back in the holster. Back on save, locked and cocked, okay? Grabbing it out. Get this hand got put out of action for whatever reason. You know, you reach back there and grab that sucker out. Work the safety. Fire, bang. And then the last round, okay, you're empty. You got to do something. Check the magazine, go down to the ground, grab the next one. <clears throat> now, because I wiggled it so much, it released the slide, the slide closed. Okay, now, if you're not using snap caps, how do you know if it would actually chamber the damn cartridge? You are using snap caps, all you gotta do is open it up. There it is. Right there in the damn chamber. And it's safe. Alright. And I didn't shoot myself or hurt myself. So what I gotta do is I gotta practice that some, that maneuver some more. Alright. Um You'll notice the gun barrel's not pointing toward my hand or my arm. What I did is I Took that, that uh, cartridge out, ejected the magazine into my hand, caught up my pinky, rolled the gun down and over, put my hand over the top of it, reloaded it, back over the gun, all right, and it's back in. Safety on, finger off the damn trigger. Be safe, ladies and gentlemen, be safe. All right, let's do it again. This damn shirt is not cooperating. And that was a bad drift. I might have lost the damn gun on that day. 
That's fine. That's what it's all about. Getting out here, learning what to do, what not to damn do. I've been up and down off this damn ground so much, my freaking... My clothes are all tore up. Alright, you don't want to display your, the entire front of your body to your enemy. And in this particular case, it's not going to be point blank where you just draw down and, and move and shoot. Or draw down and move and shoot. Alright? This particular case, for what... <clears throat> I mean, you got to keep them guessing, ladies and gentlemen. you got to keep them guessing because they're not stupid. They're street smart and they've dealt with people who are shooting back at them. So you got to throw something at them that they haven't seen before. All right, one of the simplest, easiest things that you can do is simply go down to brace kneeling. Very steady. All right. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, hasty kneeling. And I squeeze off that shot, so I need more practice. That's fine. This is where to learn. This is where to make the mistakes at. Not out in the real world where you get your head blown off. All right. Hasty niggling. Alright. Say there's multiple. Alright. And they all drawing down on you at the same damn time. You still you don't want to be standing up here getting shot at. What can you do to minimize the risk to you? Alright, say you're in the street. And there's a curb right up here next to you. Okay? And what I'll do. And this is a little tall, but I'll use it. This will be my curb. All right. And I'm going to shoot over that curb, and the camera lens is going to be the Mr. Bad Guy. Okay? Let me see if the camera can even see that. Hell no. Well, a little bit. This is going to be my curb right here, and I'm going to use it like I'm out, out in the damn street. I'm not going to stand up here and trade shots with you standing here. I'm not wearing body armor even, even if I was. Head, throat, arms, under your armpits here, up in your shoulder area, pelvis, even if you got that flap that comes down over your cods, right here where your hip bones are at, they can hit you there. Break that bone, you're going down, you're not getting back up. Your legs all the way down to your feet. All right, so how do you minimize that? Oh, wait. Now, because that camera is so damn small, I gotta take my damn time to get shot. That and that root was in the way. Another thing right there, you've got to learn how to overcome obstacles that may be on the ground around you, whatever the case may be. Let's do that again. This is the curb. I'm gonna shoot up and over the curb. First shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot, sixth shot, seventh shot, eighth shot. Now, my head's sticking up there pretty good. That's not good either. Well, can you do to minimize that? Oh. You get the point. Now, you want to run a realistic drill? Dry. Still fired at me. And then, you know, there's always a possibility you're going to get hit. Get down low as you can. magazines total ammunition would be 31 rounds what I got on here I got two eight rounds two seven rounders practice ladies and gentlemen practice make your mistakes in your yard make your mistakes around town you know and before you get to a damn gunfight oh
give in and give her your coffee jug? Yeah. <laughs> Keep my teddy, baby. I gotta take care of her. <laughs> bit dirty. Just a bit. Mm. 